Coach, you got two swimmers going to NCAAs this week, uh, Emma Barksdale, Taylor Worrell. Uh, let's start uh, talking about Emma, a freshman who has excelled in many different events this year. I think she actually might lead the team, at least on the women's side, in terms of individual victories. She'll swim the 400 IM. Talk about the improvement that you've seen in her races uh, from the time she got here back in August through uh, here as we head to championships, and, and she's swimming as a freshman. She's already uh, going significantly faster than she was back in August when, when she got here. Her, her lifetime best coming into South Carolina, um, she actually hit those mid-season. Uh, she actually went best times mid-season without a whole lot of rest going into our Georgia Tech invite. And then uh, had some really big time drops at SECs, uh, even off of what she went back in November. So she's had an outstanding year. And I think just the adaptation to training, uh, the resources that we have here at South Carolina, being able to utilize those um, and, and have a very, you know, overall a very structured day in terms of um, when, her, when her school and studying take place, when her practices and lifting take place, things like that just kind of help her, help, helped her make a, uh, a good transition, a smooth transition um, through her freshman year. Uh, her improvements have been outstanding. I, I think any time anybody that makes the NCAA championships, um, it's a huge accomplishment. Outside of the Olympics, it's the fastest meet on the planet. Um, and so to do that as a freshman, um, while you're still trying to get acclimated to college swimming, that's that's pretty amazing as well. So she's come in and, and she's done great things for our program, and uh, we're we're looking forward to continue to improve not only you know here at NCAA's but also going into Olympic trials this summer. She's only swim in one event at the NCAA's, but had great success in four or five different events during her freshman mm -hmm. year. Do you see this as something that uh, she could use this this nationals experience this year as a springboard to be back in future years sure. and to be swimming in in multiple events? Right. Yeah. And I think I mean she's going to be able she'll be able to swim a few events a few events here, uh, but. Once you get this first NCAAs under your belt and you realize that that's one of the fastest competitions that you're ever going to be a part of, and uh, that's one of the benefits of being in the SEC is being able to race against those folks that are at NCAAs and in the finals on a week-in, week-out basis. Um, being in the fastest conference in the country uh, kind of sets them up for success on the national level because they've faced the fastest people in the conference. So. Um, I think, uh, I think that's a good thing for her. I think going forward, uh, you know, you don't have – the expectation now is to, is to make that qualification. The expectation is to um, – you did it your freshman year. Let's go uh, – you know, let's, let's, let's make the meet in more events in your sophomore, junior, and senior year. So uh, that's what we're going to build on. And like I said, uh, with her, it's just not a, an NCAA season that we're looking at too. She's got Olympic trials coming up and uh, in, in future years. There will be U.S. Nationals over the summertime too. So she's – She's starting off well to, to build for, you know, towards one of the best careers that any female swimmer at USC has ever had. Uh, when we talked a few weeks ago after SEC championships, you named Taylor Worrell as probably your surprise performer on the entire team. Really uh, came out of nowhere, dropped a ton of time, mm -hmm. set the school record in the 500 free, then dropped more time and broke that record again a week later at the last chance meet. Mm -hmm. What did she do over those last uh, you know couple months of the season to put herself in a position where – now she's swimming as fast as anybody on the team and is a school record holder. You know, Taylor Taylor is a, uh, a hard worker, and I think she got into a point mid-year, I would say probably November, December, where she kind of got into a little bit of a training rut. Um, and was and some some days going through the motions a little bit, and so the coaching staff pulled her aside. We had a meeting and just talked to her and kind of reminded her of the goals that she set for herself, and and also pointed out that you write those goals down on paper, but you're not training that same way. And she kind of embraced that criticism and went forward with it. And ultimately, what we saw was uh, a young lady who really this year got to see the results of a lot of hard work. Um, so I'm very excited for her being able to, you know, make that turnaround midseason like she did. Um, and and she because she had a choice she could have made during that meeting. She could have tuned out the staff or she could embrace it. And she chose to embrace it. And she really bared down. And, and uh, I'm really happy for her. she deserves all the best with that with the SEC meet and her last chance meet. And now she really gets to go and enjoy um, the NCAA championships. And she has an older sister, Kelsey Worrell, that swims for Louisville. And this will be Kelsey's last NCAAs. Um, she's a senior this year, and um, 
as, as one of the fastest butterflies in the nation, probably one of the top candidates for the U.S. Olympic team in, in the butterfly event. So uh, get to go to, to NCAAs with your sister for your last chance. That, that, you know, for her last chance, that's, that's pretty exciting. And, and, and so I'm happy for her and uh, the fact that their family gets to experience that. You got two swimmers, each one swimming one event at the end of the week. Uh, what's a, a successful week for you guys? I, I think we want to see them continue to improve, and I want to see them handle that big stage um, well, I think if if we come out with some lifetime best, you know, the goal is obviously to put points on the board. That's what we that's what we go for. Um, I think if we can get those folks back in a, in a couple of events and get some second swims in there, put a few points on the boards, and then lean on our divers. We got a lot of divers going uh, to that meet, so lean on our divers and see what they can do. Hopefully, we'll come out all right. And I think we're we're going to put more points on the board than we have in a, in in recent memory. So I think that's that'll be a successful year. Thank you, coach. Thank you.